So I'm going to skip the intro here. Go for it. Alright, who do we want on our team? Want some zombies? Do we want a mummy? Do we want... You, would, you know better than I, you've been playing this a while. This is, this is the My Gamer Visual Cast stream, by the way. I am Squall Snake, that is Gilman at the helm, as always, man in this. This is Machia Villain, which game just came out yesterday, actually. Uh, today? And Maybe. Or maybe, maybe, wait, maybe, oh, actually it was today. I take that back. It was today, Wednesday. Uh, we just posted a review as soon as Embargo was up. Gilman did post every, uh, post his review, so you could check out the review on our site. Right now, this game, we decided to stream it because why not? Because why not? So why don't you give us a breakdown since you've been playing this and you reviewed sure. it. What's going on here? Um, We, a while ago, streamed, do you remember Prison Architect? I was pretty, yes. I was pretty uh big on that game i really yeah. liked me some prison architect yes um let's get these guys this is an evil mansion management strategy game for twenty dollars yeah uh this PC. is very 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 similar to uh prison architect yeah um is one thing i will say about it uh and i i like that about it i i very much like how similar it is to prison architect and a lot of the similarities like it's like prison architect was very sort of just focused on building like the containment and the base and uh that sort of stuff and i really i, I liked that aspect um so you're actually building a prison no i'm building a mansion so the, a man oh mansion yes right. um the theory in this is that every like it, it feels like every horror story is basically in the same universe is the gist of it um and so you have you know like frankenstein monsters you have zo you know zombies you have uh werewolves you have vampires all of that stuff and they're all kind of living in the same world together as just monsters. So you're building a mansion for just people to come in and then you terrorize them with monsters? I murder them. Oh, you murder them. Oh. Yeah, so that's the next thing that happens after... What I'm trying to do right now is, like, get a bedroom together for these guys. So, so in a way, it's kind of like deception. Uh, sort of. Yeah, there's then, a lot of are, that, too. In, instead of setting traps, though, you just release these werewolves and vampires upon them? Um, I can set traps. That is oh, that okay. is an option as well. Um, that is a completely possible thing to do to set traps. Um, I'm not really want to want you to build. Um... Yeah, so it's it's completely possible yeah. to set traps and have like the the uh, humans that come in sort of be automated in their death routines. Um, it's co more complicated to set that up than it's you'd think, um, but it it is definitely something that can be done um i haven't had great success in it um unfortunately it a lot of the time it just kind of feels like the ai just will dump for no reason like there's stuff that should be happening that it just sort of feels like it doesn't mm -hmm. um which is one of my problems and i mean i'd like to think that it's not my fault <laughs> yeah um 
So you actually have to clear out land and build individual. Well, yeah, like all of this group. stuff is like yeah. Um, all of this stuff is like I have to cl- gather resources and shit like that. Yeah. So I'm gonna speed this up so we're not just sitting here and watching them twiddle their thumbs. I have a couple beds built, so that's nice. Slow that down. Construction room. Let's get a door here. Actually, I don't. I'm gonna cancel that door. What I do want to do is put the door in back. It's what something I started doing later. So. Because, like, he, when the humans come to visit the place, because you send out, like, flyers that you're like, hey, free pizza, for them to, like, show up because your monsters will start starving to death. And so, like, oh, if you so- have zombies to, like, uh, as your workers, um, oh. you need brains to feed your zombies. Ah, uh, that's where the cycle comes into play. Yeah, and, like, you need money to support stuff, you know, to do things, so... Yeah, that's kind of where, you know, it starts to come in. It's like, well, I can't really feed these guys without human brains, so I need more humans in here. Um, so, so it's got some RTS elements in there. Sort of, yeah. It's it's, it's the base building without, like, yeah, really right, right. Without outside crazy. Yeah, influence on it. Oh, okay, so he's putting up the walls now. I gotcha. And there are, like, evil trees here that will attack you. Um, you can develop stuff that, like, does less, makes them do less damage, but I've never really gotten the lab working. Um, one of my complaints about the game, I do like the game, uh, to a certain point. The problem is that after a certain point, um, it sort of feels like... It just gets really grind heavy. Yeah. Like, it just. Okay, so for the next thing that you need to do, we're gonna need you to grind for quite some time. And by quite some time, it's like, alright, you're gonna need to kill 30 victims. And that's a lot of fucking victims. How do you get to... So you said you got to, like, just advertise? So there's an ad campaign button right here. You click on that, Uh, and there's, like, a ton of ads you can send out. And And depending on the ad you send out, it's how many people you get in. And the problem with that is that um, the more that you... Like, you have to have more minions to handle more guests that come in. You know, it, it's like, you know, back and forth. But okay. the problem is that it's like, you know, it's so like for my rank, it's, you know, it, like here, it's like, you know, OK, survive three days, build two closed rooms. That's not really bad. You know, that's that's yeah, I can do that. But then it's like you get later and it's like. Destroy 30 victims and it's like, fuck you. Yeah, that's a big jump. And it's really quick. The jump is really real excuse me really really quick so the pacing is the pacing there is kind of off yeah and it's just out it's like out of nowhere it just sort of does that so i don't that's something that like if they could change that would probably be great So how did why did you put a door in the back? I mean, can they even get out the door if the bed is in the way? Uh, yeah, they'll walk over the bed. Uh, one of the reasons oh, okay. I put the door in the I'm just gonna have this guy explore to see because like, there's not really a lot of trees. Um, because the humans like when you call humans in, like they'll just sort of wander around. Um. And if the door's in the front, they will kind of just randomly walk up to the door and be like, Oh, hey, I'm liter- I'm just going to walk into this fucking door. 
can you trap them in if they're inside? Can you like let the like just build a wall and just trap them inside uh, until they the get the door? It, it they don't move that fast most of the time. Like your your creature, your guys um, don't move that uh, fast. Your, like that your, would be your, that would your, be your monsters. Yeah, yeah, that would be great if they did, but most ninety percent of the time they do not move that fast. Um. Oh, I can drag and drop. Nice. That's new. The dragging and dropping is new. Yeah, they said that they added some patches, uh, I think, since uh, since the game launched. Or there was a day one patch or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, I will change my review if I will actively go in and change my review if that is true. If things change, because I, yeah. I, I like I even went out of my way and said there are lots of things about this game that I enjoy very much, but it's it, it it's just like the sudden curve that kind of gets to me. Oh yeah, we can always go back and put a footnote in or whatever we yeah, have to because there's I'm, things I'm get more, updated. And, and like, yeah, I'm more than happy to change it and straight up say like, yeah, this game is absolutely fantastic uh you know like they went in they they did the right thing and they patched it so yeah, more yeah. power to them but i i will have to actually get to that point again and like right here like the pathfinding that's kind of annoying like there wasn't a door there and there were they would walk no. into this room yeah and try now to they're go freaking through. out yeah yeah so like that's like super annoying So it just sort of feels like at all times you kind of need to um, have have like all pa like these paths cleared for the guys or they're just going to like lose their shit on you. <laughs> yeah. it, it's just like, yeah, it's it's like a small babysitting job sometimes. Yeah, like, that's always that's always the thing with like any kind of even though it's not an escort mission, but. You know, I, I know what you're talking. I, I know exactly the what path, you're talking about. The, the path, yeah, that's always been a problem with so many games. Just the pathfinding and things get stuck in the geometry of the level. Oh boy! Now we get to watch them go to sleep. All right. So going here. So if you if you build a shitty house like no floor and like bad walls like people I think you probably have won't to come. have a floor. Oh, to actually like complete the house to yeah, make it. Yeah, I think you've. Re I think it's required that you have a floor. I do think that the uh, a floor is required, or okay, it just to, like won't function. To make or, it like, to, to make it register as a room. Yeah. Um. I. I might be making that up, but I, I seem to remember, like, a tutorial at one point saying, like, you do, like, it does need to have like, yeah. a floor. Which, fair enough. Alright. Let's... Speed that up and have those guys go. Get that shit mined out. And every single time you play is just different, right? Different levels, different yeah, environments, randomly generated. Yeah, this level is entirely generated. different than the other levels that I had. But then I get how, like, what's game over? Then how do you die? Like you just don't. Get all of your minions cause die because you don't have they, enough brains yeah. to eat. Um, no. When all of your minions die, it's game over. Uh, they there is like a and tutorial that says that. And how do they die then? Just from starvation? Uh, like, do they... There, there's a couple ways that minions can die. Um, like the the evil trees can hit you, and that takes uh, health out. Do um, the humans fight back, and then they can kill you? S I believe some of them. Okay, so I got another minion. Um, let's see. This guy is. Good at 
Okay, that guy's good at carrying stuff. Uh, that's kind of right here. Pause it, and then I will assign him things to do. Yeah, go carry things. And you're going to write letters. Besides that, that, you're going to chop wood. What's your opinion in general about these simulation type games? I mean, do do you know you like the city building, the house building? Like, did you like Sim City? Did you like The Sims? Did you, I know you like Prison Architect. I mean, is that I like one of your Prison more? I love Prison Architect. Um, the building is, is like stuff. The si like the I Sim liked quite a bit. Simu is the simulation genre just kind of like you know a more preferred genre of game for you? Um, I like the Sid Meier games. I loved. I yeah. loved yeah. those. Um, they were by far one of my favorite series in the yeah, world. Everybody, yeah, everybody loves Civ, yeah. Um, they, that really got me into a lot of, like, this kind of stuff. Um, aside from that... Um, like, I liked SimCity. SimCity was good. Like, I'm not gonna sit there and say, like, oh, I fucking hated SimCity. Oh, that shit was dumb. No, I liked SimCity. Yeah, it was, it was a good game. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, like, for the most part, uh, that was, I have to select an ad campaign. Oh, you know what? Yeah, here, yeah, yeah. I need to not select an ad campaign, because I have to build somewhere to slaughter those people. So. Oh, so you, you can't just, like, kill them as they're sleeping or something? Well, he, so here's the thing with the slaughterhouse. <laughs> okay. Okay, first off, I'm going to want to chop some of these trees down so it's easier for them to get in. So do you have to lure them into the slaughterhouse, or can you just kill them in the room? Well, I wanna, I'm want going to kill them in the room, and this is how I'm going to do it. So, first off, I'm going to... Build a room. So, all right, here's that room. Some floors, right? Okay. All right, so you go to the victim room. Let's put a lamp in there so there's a light. They're so you can see what's going on. They're not gonna, and they're not going to freak out when they walk in. Yeah, you can't chop up dead bodies with no light on. Come on. Well, well, yeah, and they also, uh, they also freak out if there's, like, not a light in the room. I, I don't fucking huh. know why. Because they're right. like wimps or some shit. Uh, let's go, you put a bookcase there, and then um, I'm going to do... And then what you can do is you put a room. Front door. The victims cannot resist coming through a red front door. Oh, just really? Instantly walk through a red front door. So... I built. I thought that. it'd be like. I thought it'd be like the opposite. Well, so I did that. So now what I'm going to do is build a second room, right? So here's a floor. To build a butcher's block or something. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh really? I was just making shit up. <laughs> Kitchen, butcher's table. There we go. And you know what? I'm going to want that just a little walking space around that, so I'm going to move that up there. And do that yet so there you go so 
going to go into jobs, take down the construction, make everyone mine. So I get rid of that stuff up there, clear that up. Mm -hmm. There's a method to my madness. I'm watching. It just takes a minute. Okay. Okay, then they'll go hack trees. Okay. Not the tree I wanted, but okay, whatever. There's a tree right there you could be killing. <laughs> Get that one out of the way so I can close my room. Yeah, no, they're literally going for any other fucking nightmare tree they can. Pathfinding. Yup. You and you start constructing stuff. I don't fucking care. Everyone else. Okay, so they took care of that guy. Construction. Oh, there. Okay. Yeah. Room. Wall. Wall. Okay, resources. Door. Those rooms should start getting built. Is that metal? Yep, that is metal. So, go to resources, dig rock, click there. How high up is mining? Mining is after construction. Do is go in here. Oh, okay, one of you is still on mine. That's good. Oh, and he's trapped in there now. Neat. I see. I see that. So, construction. I can have someone build a door right there. What are those things? Are they just like ghouls or something? Or like what? This guy is a mummy. They... Those guys, I think, are zombies. And does each one have a certain power? Like mummies are good at something and... Sort of. Mm-hmm. Like, sort of. Terrence, Chuck. What the actual fuck are you guys doing? Is he going to be able to get out? Oh. I, I literally think he stopped yeah. moving because he was trapped. Like, everyone yeah. stopped moving because someone was trapped. Yeah. That's, that's a bug. That's a bug. When everyone in the game stops moving because one person gets trapped. <laughs> because one guy gets stuck in the room. Jacqueline, what's Jacqueline? You know what you can do, Jacqueline? Go. Let's make sure there are always five of those present. There we go. We're going to start getting ourselves some victims. Mm, okay.
so at night even the monsters have to go to sleep. Uh, at, at different times, different monsters will go to sleep. Uh, and, and it's like when they're tired and stuff. What does the suspicion level mean in the, uh, in the upper like, right corner there? Like, if you kill people in different ways, they'll become, like, you get more or less suspicion. Oh, and then people won't come then if they know what's going on. Kind of, yeah. Working fast now. Well, I have it. I have the speed like crank super high. Curious to see what happens when these people arrive. Yeah, hopefully they will show up at some point. As long as uh, someone actually feels like getting the mail and fucking dropping it in the mailbox today. Yep, mail sent. Cool, victims are coming. Cool. So. Stop all minions. Okay. The victims are coming. Okay, the victims are here. Yeah. Okay. Kill those victims. There you go. No, so you just gotta click on them. Kind of, yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh, so you got plus 10 because they were killed inside, inside. your Inside. If they're clear killed outside, it goes up even more. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep, that's a thing. So, there we go. And now we go back. Resume jobs. And... Oh yeah, one of the things I want to do is not clean up the kitchen. I was just going to say, I almost thought that the suspicion level would be higher if you killed them inside because you'd have to kill up, you know, clean up like blood splatters or something. Yeah, you, another tell, you tell the guys to clean up the blood splatter inside. Yeah. That's one of the jobs. It's one of the jobs you can assign is literally Cre clean up the blood. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like, that's kind of creative. It makes sense. Yeah. Seems like this is the kind of game you'd find on like Newground. Yeah, you're not wrong. Like it's got that kind of animation, like that flash kind of cartoony, squared off, uh, you know, blocky character kind of animation. Yeah, 
I'm not dis- something from like the from from the, from like the behemoth, like a yeah, cancel crasher kind of. I'm not disagreeing with you either. You got a dirty kitchen. Yeah, I'm not cleaning up that blood. Um, it's just, it's just going to get dirty again the next round. Yeah, and like they come like once a fucking day. And they probably won't even make it into the kitchen. They're probably only going to stick out, stick around in the victims. Yeah, room, normally right? I, I like keep my monsters in. So if oh, they saw the okay, blood, then they would probably. By of oh, okay. Yep, so here's one of my complaints. Kill 30 victims. That's going to take forever. Yes. What did you get last time? Two? Two. So here's the ad campaigns. Okay, so the next one up, I can get three victims. The next one up, I can get four. Uh... The next one up, I can get five. But, like, okay, so the next one up takes... I'm sending out five letters right now. Mm-hmm. Next one up for one more victim takes 10 and then 20 and then 30 letters. Oh, yeah. So they get progressively. You got to do exponentially more letters to send out very minimal increase of of victims of victims. So it's it's basically like to actually like make this worth my while. I have to almost have someone who is just dedicated to writing the letters at all times. And then, like, the higher up it goes, it's almost like I have to have, like, more and more people that are dedicated to it. And it's like... It's, it's, and, you, and I only have four guys at this I was just point. Gonna, that was exactly what I was going to say. You only got four guys. And you could potentially get a fifth. Is that with that lock symbol? You can get more me? and more and more. But the thing is, it's like, you know, I'm also at this point struggling to like. Yeah, then you got more mouths to feed. Yeah. Fed, you know. Yes. And like, I'm still trying to clear out this fucking area. <laughs> yeah. Right. So it's like the it, that's last. A, that, that's a that's a tight rope to so, walk right there. I mean, and, you can't and, go and too big. And here's the other thing: is like, okay, let's go into the factory when I I need to like start assembling shit, right? So metal and wood, you know, like all right, that's not that bad. You go over to the next one; it wants like a thousand stone. Okay, they changed that. That used to be like a processed block of stone, a thousand blocks of stone that you had to make uh, but it's still 200 it's planks still- of wood and like that means that you have to have one uh piece of wood and that so they have to cut down a tree and you get a couple pieces of wood from that but then they have to process the wood in the factory to uh, make it a plank yes. of wood yes understood and it's just like are that's you a little bit fucking- yeah that's a little <laughs> the, as you said that's yeah, oh that's here it is grindy. here it is the, the research stuff. So it's like, there it is. A thousand stone blocks. Bricks. It's like, fuck off. That's, like... it's that's uh, There's uh, no uh, other uh, word than grindy for that. Yes, yes. And it's like, watch, you grind all that way and then you accidentally misclick something and you, like, waste all your something... Yeah, it's... Everything you just erred on something that, like, oh, I didn't, I didn't mean to do that, no, go back, no, too late. Yeah, it's it's literally just... That's a lot. It's it's a lot. And, and, you, and the only way to speed it up is to get more guys, but to get more guys, you need more food, but you don't have food yet because you need to build this shit.
Yeah. And, like, I couldn't figure out how to do, like, research points the last, yeah. like, when I was playing last time, which kind of felt like it should have been, like, that should have been easier. Like, out of everything, I shouldn't be having problems figuring out how to fucking do research points. What can you get then if you research? You, oh, you can like develop. Are coming soon. Oh, shit. So now if they come in, you just got you kind of got to be close by because you just click on them Diablo style, and then he just auto fights them, yeah, right? Basically, yeah. So you stop all jobs, and then like you want to like highlight your guys, and then like go here, but then like oh fuck, where's this guy? Go here. Oh, because he's on the other side, and like tons of shit will freak out victims and like make them leave. Like, tons of shit Victims will. And you can, like, set up traps to, like, auto-kill victims, but... Uh, it's, like, that. that's so much fucking effort. Did you ever play The Escapists? Because that was another kind of prison architect-y... But like almost in reverse because you're trying to get out. I actually own the Escapist. Did you ever play it? Uh, I, I tried it, it, to, and it was yeah, like it was yeah, it, you know, it was the it was one of the free Xbox games, man, like you know, a year ago or something. And I remember just you know playing it just to kind of check it out because I've saw, you've always seen it around. It's like always on a sale and stuff like that. And I've and I started playing it, and it's it's kind of. Uh, you gotta know what you're doing because there's like a usually a specific route that you have to take that to get out. That is sort of what I felt like when I played it. Yeah, it's like like they, it they advertise like, it like like oh hey it's it's a lot of fun because you can you know do like these creative things to get out. But crazy that, freedom of movement yeah, to get out, the, and it's like but it what but it the, felt like is like yes, if I it don't felt scripted. It, like Hitman. Like yes, yes. Like there's there's yeah. a billion things I can do inside this environment, but it's like I but don't. You can only do. I don't win, speak the language of what is and is not allowed. So the fact that all of this can be done is worthless, is like literally just worthless to me. Yeah, it's you can do a lot, but then to beat this one specific scenario, well, you it's, have it, to like do the it new, this way. The new Hitman game, like, you know, I was stoked. Didn't we play to, that? Yeah, and I was stoked to play it, but it was like, I'm just fucking sitting there and I'm like... You know, I want to like the Hitman games, but at the end of the day, I, I don't know what you know what I'm getting caught because of. I don't know. Yeah, because some guys like see you from deep for no reason. Yeah, I don't know they what is. You. Yeah, I don't know. You know, like what's pissing these people off, kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, and it just it just seems like everything is just. Oh, Fucking hell, more fucking... And, and this is, like, the other thing is, like... It's, like, they never fucking... Like, those victims don't stop coming. Well, you need them to keep... I mean, you need them to keep coming. Do you, now, do you cut them up and, like, put them in a fridge? I kind of missed that part. Uh, sort of. There's, there's like, a like a place you go... And, like, your food, like, spoils, too. So there's that. I think you can build a fridge... Yeah, I was going to say, like, what are the things that you... So you got, like, lumber stockades that you're, you're housing wood. What, what's, like, that blue thing with the... At, like, the top right corner? Oh, There's that's, a blue like, thing. inventory, like, equipment and shit like that. And then, and then what's potions. the pink, what's uh, the that's pink one That's like? food, and then uh, money, and then supplies. Oh, money. Okay. All right. Victims are coming. Well, and this is, like, the other thing is it's, like, a certain portion of the day needs to be, like, allocated to just murdering victims. And you click on them, bam. Do the victims fight back and they kill you? Uh, not 
at this level, as far as I know. Um, I'm pretty sure that, like, at higher levels, um, like, some of the ones you can get in do. Mm -hmm. um, I think the victims I'm getting in, like, right now are, like, nerds. So they pretty oh, much so just, like, sit there and uh, take it. <laughs> okay. Um, like, one guy was literally supposed... Like, I think what it was supposed to be happening right there is, like, he was watching TV while I murdered him. Oh, okay. Um, but... Okay, yeah. What I'm gonna do is try to... Make a research lab really quick right here and see if... It actually works this time. Starting to yeah, so I just got a message that some of my food is starting to spoil. So then if it starts to spoil, you can eat it uh, right away, or you can... Like, no, I, I, I have to wait, or no, if it spoils, it's gone forever. It's like, just gone. Mm. Yeah, so uh, since I said I needed 30 victims, I've killed seven. That's going to take a while. Yeah, that's what I mean, is it's like, if it was 10, I'd be like, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's there, there's no need for it to be 30. that high. Like, yeah, like, and right off the bat, like, that's kind of something you would expect, you know, after you've been playing the game for 5, 10 hours. Yeah, or... Not, not the second mission. I think it might be, like, the third or something, but st right. 30 is really fucking high. That is really fucking high. Is it always 30? Because you played this, you know, a few times. Is it, has it been 30 that's, every that time? That was one of the things that I was talking about that I'm like, I'm really wondering if, like, that's one of the things that they changed, and uh, it was very much not. Like, the complaints that I had that, like, yeah. I wrote in the review that I was like, it's very grind-heavy. Like, yep, there. Those are still compl the complaints I have about this game. I still, I like this game. I like the theories. Like, you can go into construction, you can go into traps. Like, there's a spike trap. You know, there's like you can set up. Um, what is it? There's, there were like conveyor belt traps that you could set up. Yeah, right here, <laughs> conveyor belt traps that like would usher victims in a row like down like you know saws and all that stuff and basically you could set it up that would dump them in front of your butcher's table fully diced up and ready to be butchered <laughs> okay you know like the moment they walk in the door it you know cool stuff like that you know like people have designed but the problem is that it's like a lot of that stuff is End end game, like yeah. That's later. Yeah, that's not right away. No, and that's mm. not something that like you're going to be able to like do for really, especially like when their idea of you know like appropriate amount of time for something to take is literally fucking oh well you know this this should be 30 out you know 30 victims to kill yeah yeah it's like that's not appropriate man like i i'm sorry like some yeah that's some balancing issues i agree It, it it's it just it seems like one of those things that not enough people got their hands on it. If well, that, yeah. Plus, yeah. Plus, it's still it's still, it's early, still early, maybe. But it's yeah. It's, it, it it just sort of feels like 
Oh, can assign skill points when they're fighting. Yeah, and your minions can level up. That's cool. rpg -ish. yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Um... But it, it, like, you know, like I said, it's just like, it, it feels like it should have got, like, more people should have gotten their hands on it. And maybe if... Yeah, and there was a, I can, uh, I could read it real quick. There was a discount. Yeah, so it's a $20 game with a $20 discount available now until May 23rd. So you got another week or so to get it at a little bit of a discount. Uh, oozes with fun features let you unleash your inner evil genius, balance your monster's unique traits, and customize your palace of panic to make them feel at home. Use leftover dismembered body parts and other environmental resources to craft new items and keep the manor safe from supernatural creatures and monster hunters. Oh, so there's monster hunters that are going to come after you eventually, too, I, I guess. I haven't so. seen any monster yeah, hunters. Yeah, that might be a further down the road. Yeah, like a giant spider just attacked. And that might also be, like, when your suspicion level goes up. Yeah. Like, I could totally see that. That's... So what do you think? You still like... You th still think Prison Architect is better? Abs absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, like, without a doubt, Prison Architect <laughs> is a better... An across-the-board better game. Like, yeah. dude, I, I've killed ten victims. 20 more so we're one third of the way yep and and this has been what like i don't know how many how long this has been uh, we're about 45 minutes into the stream and i'm ranked so, three so it's probably a good 30 minutes yeah to kill 10 dudes so we got another hour hour or so i i would say an hour <laughs> yeah. i would say you're not exaggerating by saying it's yeah. an hour to get to the and you can't really do anything next until you complete this mission right it's not like multiple missions you could take on multiple things it's like the next thing is 30 kill 30 people then the next you can't do anything else until you kill 30 people because the next mission could be like kill 30 nerds you know get something specific yeah no it's it's very clearly just do these things that i mean like i i could build my mansion I could keep, like, upgrading my mansion and, like, research stuff and, you know, do that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. But, like, in, in the same breath, like, how am I supposed to... Is that really I had that that's how I have to do research points seriously like fucking everything else <laughs> there's some tedium it seems and and can you tell by the way that I literally just said that <laughs> a little bit Building up your little house area pretty nice, though. Yeah. I have three research points. Your minions are under attack. Another fucking spider attack. <laughs> I, I don't know how to tell you. I don't care. Like, let it come?
Where's this giant spider that's supposed to be here? Oh, it just never showed up. Hmm. Yup. You didn't, you didn't kill it. It didn't get killed off screen or something crazy. Nope. It just didn't show up. <laughs> don't you hate it when your giant spiders don't show up? It's like my everyday life. Oh, there it is. Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe. See, it probably just got stuck on the environment. <laughs> Pathfinding. That's the problem with these games, because when you can build it up and make your own levels, you know, how big you're going to make your, your, your path, how small is it going to be, how many 90-degree bends are going to be there. So you need a really good Pathfinding AI, because there's so many things that can happen. Thank so many you. different ways that you can build, yeah. That's it's a tricky that's something tricky to program. has been Machiavellian. Machiavellian. What are your final thoughts then? Not that you, you're um, hoping that they're, you're hoping that they're going to be patching some stuff because then, like, I feel like the foundation is like, there. Like, there's like the I right 100 percent agree <clears throat> with you. But the, like, the detail is not there yet. It needs some fine tuning. This makes to... me want to play Prison Architect. <laughs> yeah. Um, Until this, you know, gets patched and cleaned up and balanced a little bit better. Like. Your game should not make me want to play somebody else's game. They even said that in the press release. They're like, our game is like Prison Architect. If you like that, you should probably and, like And, like, our when game. I was writing the review, it was funny because I, like, one of the first things I wrote was, this game reminds me of Prison Architect and Dungeon yeah. Keeper. And that was one of the first was, things... Yes. And, like, yes. I, I went to the Steam page and it said... This game yes. will remind you of Prison Architect and Dungeon exactly. Keeper. That and was I'm the, like, that was the first. That was the. That's the first sentence in the in the press release. If you like these other, you know, these and other games. And I was games. like, "Oh, yeah. are you fucking serious?" Yeah. And I was like, "I didn't even read that. That like, I didn't even mean to fucking do that." That was when I read that in the, because I got the email about it and. uh so they're not hiding it. I mean, they're wearing it on their sleeve. They're like, and that's fine. This. And I, I, I right. think that's oh, fine. Yeah. That's perfectly yes. fine. I think there's some balance issues. Is the problem? Yes, agreed. After seeing it live for ourselves here on the stream, you know, it's you, it's hard to deny what's going on. Yep. So anyway, yeah, uh, you could check us out at mygamer.com. I have been uh, I'm known as Squall Snake on the site. You could follow me on Twitter at Zach Gaz, Z A C K G A Z. But yeah, go to my gamer, put us in your favorites. We just posted a bunch of reviews. We got a ton more reviews coming. Adams also, uh, Grizz is going to be reviewing a bunch of stuff. I gave him a bunch of codes. A lot of good stuff coming our way, even though it's like the summer gaming season, which is still like usually the slower season for games. But E3 is still right around the corner, so we're going to be posting a bunch of stuff. And you are, sir? I am Gilman. You can find me all over the place. I do fun things constantly. Yeah, but check out my gamer. This is the first stream. It's I was gone for a couple weeks, and it's been good to be back. Yeah, so I was uh, on vacation, and then I and got, was on vacation. I, I got yeah. sick right after vacation. I, I got I I went tra I was traveling. I got sick. I had to work late and stuff. So it's good to be back. We haven't streamed in a while, but um, hopefully we'll be back next Wednesday as well to stream something new. All right. So yeah. So thanks for watching, and until next time, game on.